seconds. Here we go. <laughs> So Kubai and Nelson Adota will jump it up again. And this time, a clear-cut possession for UConn. Ravina Westbrook, who has struggled her last two games after getting off to a strong start. Well, Georgia, Georgia Tech, who has really hung their hat on the defense, it's going to be important that they stay locked in for a full 30-second shot clock. Shot clock inside of 10 here, Nelson Adota. Bodying in, flipping it up, and leaving it short. Rebound secured by Georgia Tech. Put an emphasis for UConn in their shoot around this morning. Getting touches by their bigs in the paint. Underneath, a little flip won't go from Kubai. The follow, no, and the rebound secured by Edwards. It's all the starting five there. And here's UConn starting five. With Yuha's moving into the starting lineup. Rebecca, you highlighted Lorella Kubai. She's already on the glass. A tremendous rebounder for Georgia Tech. And she's relentless. She's got a terrific motor on both ends of the floor. Also a really good defensive player. You saw in that possession, though, Connecticut trying to post up their bigs, trying to look inside and get him the basketball. Straight on jumper, a little bit too strong for Hermosa. And here comes Westbrook. The fling down the floor. Williams able to finish. And Carolyn, I think that's going to be an absolute key for both of these teams is pace. Connecticut wants to get out and run. Georgia Tech wants this game to be slow. Well, he talked about Georgia Tech's defense and trying to force turnovers, create offense off of their turnovers. Well, that's also a strength of Connecticut. Goodbye, fading away. Left it a little short. Rebound flagged down by UConn. And you hot. Nelson Adota thought about it. Williams will take. Can't hit. Edwards fighting for the offensive rebound. It's out of bounds off before the game, guys, and said he doesn't think he's had a team dealing with this many key injuries at the same time since he was missing. Swin Cash, Sue Bird, Shea Ralph, and Amy Grant all together at once. But he also said, and nobody going to be feeling sorry for <laughs> Gino Ariana. No, they are not. As the jumper is good for Aaliyah Love, Georgia Tech gets on the board. Aaliyah Love is going to be important for Georgia Tech because she's a player who can really create off the dribble, create her own shot. A steal here. Lots it in. Lays it in in transition. Turnovers. Turnovers were a real issue for Connecticut in their last game against Notre Dame. We're not used to seeing that from Connecticut teams, but this is a team that can be loose with the basketball. And Georgia Tech can build confidence off getting those transition buckets. Williams gets free and is able to lay it in. We talked about from the beginning, it was going to be key for Kristen Williams and Avina Westbrook to really be the main throttle of the offense for the Huskies. Here is Love, bodying in, couldn't force it up over Williams. Nice D there from UConn. The officials are letting them play. It's oh, a little physical. Yeah, Williams somehow able to keep the handle there. Juhai spins, flips it up, no, and the rebound secured by Hermosa. A 4-4 game, first quarter action at Georgia Tech. UConn has won both prior meetings between these schools last in 2010 when Georgia Tech set a record for largest home crowd, over 7,000. Watson can't finish, and the rebound to UConn. Here comes Westbrook. Edwards nearly dropped it, able to control it, using the footwork, and just tossed it up too strong. Trying to save the rebound, Georgia Tech just able to as Love lost her footing. They have to be really impressed so far by Georgia Tech's toughness. You know, not only on the glass, on the defensive end, on the offensive end, they are not rattled at all. Well, the officials are letting them play and really playing straight up defensively. Being able to defend for Vesson is a terrific way to describe Nell Fortner. You know what? I think people would use that word to describe you as well, Marilyn. <laughs> You're sweet, Ryan. I appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, 
patience here from Georgia Tech. These are two slow-paced teams regardless as Hermosa able to dip that in. Georgia Tech loves to go into the high-low game. They get the ball to the big, in particular, Kubai up high, and then look inside when their other post gets the seal. Well, and it's a, it's a good move by Georgia Tech to go high-low from the top instead of trying to feed the post from the wing. That's where the help's going to be. Nobody can help when the ball comes in from the top. When we talked to Nell Forner before the game, she thought the finesse of Hermosa may play a big role in this game. As a foul's called here against Georgia Tech. And it'll go against Caroline Ducharme into the game. And Hugh Haas is going to get a little coaching from Gina Oriam as Westbrook hits the three. A welcome sign. She had been one for eight from downtown her last two games. Yeah, started off the season really strong from the outside, but had been struggling. Always good for a shooter to see their first one go down. Last two games, one for six was what she was shooting from the floor. She told me this morning, she said, my shot is back, and I'm bringing it today. Our best passer, our second best rebounder, our best defender. So losing Paige is sort of like losing four players at once. In that same conversation, he was talking about how important Olivia Nelson Adota is to his team. And expecting and hoping for her to, to fill some of that void. Love on the take. Puts Georgia Tech back in front. She has four in this first quarter. Both teams are hunting paint points. We saw Love on the drive. Ducharme unable to hit that leaner. Here comes Georgia Tech. Big Mastrovmana. The three is no good from Lottenen. And the rebound secured by UConn. Here comes Westbrook. Williams looking to shake free. Around the screen from Nelson Adota. Gets it back to her. Her jumper off the mark. Rebound secured again. The defensive glass secured nicely by Georgia Tech. Yeah, terrific defensive possession all around. Switching when they needed to. They are just solid. Georgia Tech is solid. And they will finish the defensive possession by getting the board. They have not allowed more than 60 points in a game this season. They're sixth in the nation in defensive efficiency. Fifth in defensive rebounding percentage. Not an easy team to score against. A leaning three is good. Lawson in connects. We talk so much about Georgia Tech's defense. Nell Fortner's like, if we can just score enough points, and if they see the ball go through the hoop, you're going to see the confidence build for Georgia Tech. And a turnover here from UConn. A good sign for Aaliyah Edwards to get to the offensive glass. She was really good a season ago. Two and a half offensive boards a game. It hasn't been there this year for her. Less than one offensive board a game, but then the turnover bug bites them. Three turnovers in the first for UConn. Straubmane off the window beautifully for two. Georgia Tech does that really well. They slice her into the block when the ball goes to the high post because she's a three player with size and can post up. The Latvian grad transfer from Syracuse. Spent four seasons there. Nearly came up with a steal. A 7-0 Georgia Tech run. A 13-7 first quarter lead. Here's Williams. Off one leg, gets it to wedge in off back iron. Kristen Williams has got to find ways to manufacture offense, and I, her best bet is to take it off the bounce. Six points now for Williams. Dubai tried to bounce it into traffic, and Westbrook read it the whole way. Here comes Westbrook with under two to play in the first. Euro step dish, what a feed, and Edwards just couldn't finish it. Outstanding decision and delivery there from Westbrook. That'll make a coach pull their hair out. You get that close, you got to finish. She was incredibly efficient last year, in particular in the NCAA tournament, but has had some struggles so far. This Number 14, Kentucky, taking on cross-state rival. Number 7, Louisville, followed by number 1, South Carolina, playing host to number 8, Maryland. Both games are on ESPN as well as the app. One app, one tap to donate to the V Foundation for Cancer Research. Go to V.org. Williams gets rejected by Love. Out of bounds. Going to stay here with UConn. Plenty of time to operate. 16 to shoot. Sunday. 
It's going to be a great matchup with Angel Reese, Aaliyah Boston going head to head. Should be outstanding. That three a little too strong from the freshman, Duchamp. Georgia Tech secures. U how? UConn has missed eight of its last ten shots now. But how about Lorella Kubai? She's not allowing any second, second chance opportunities for the Huskies. Dramane lost it to Sean. Last touched it. Ten to shoot here for Georgia Tech. A couple games ago, Kubai had 20 rebounds. Right now, already with five on pace to do it again. That was that Purdue game. She went off. She was Windex cleaning the glass. <laughs> The fifth year forward from Italy. Rebound secured on the weak side. Yuha's back in the game for UConn. Out there with Nelson Ododo, Williams, Westbrook, and Ducharme. Nelson Ododo will fire. No, too strong. Just a slight difference game in shot clock. And now... Watson in will wisely back it out and run some clock here. Georgia Tech certainly would have to deem this first quarter a success. Kubai draws two, ducks in, lost it, kicked it out, a three off the mark, and that'll do it for the first. The stifling D of Georgia Tech holds UConn to nine points in the open. I am surrounded uh, by this wonderful community. And so, you know, I say that in wishing everyone that is fighting this disease uh, much success, um, continued faith. And I hope you guys have as much support that you want and that you need. Uh, cherish it. Um, believe in it. Believe in your faith. Um, and just know that, you know, I'm going through this journey with you and I will be pulling for you. Tasha Butts is a dear friend of mine and I've known her since she was a player at Tennessee. She is, she is tough and she will battle this and has tons of support behind her here at Georgia Tech and really across the country. And we certainly... Back to Rebecca Peck and Ryan. Hi, Monica. Well, I saw both of you shaking your head yes as Nikki said that about the attack from UConn here in the second quarter. UConn had six points in the paint in that first quarter, eight points so far in the second. And they've been able to get stops on the defensive end, which is fueling them going the other way in their transition or their secondary. Offensive rebound here. Slotsen in. Over to Stroudmane. And she hits the baseline jumper. Yeah, Georgia Tech took advantage of the hard hedge by Aaliyah Edwards. She stayed there just a little bit too long, and Stroutmana was open. Stroutmana, a member of the Latvian national team. Here's Williams fading away. Again on the attack, just couldn't finish it. Rebound secured nicely by Hermosa. Lots and in, dumps it in. Into the corner, a three. He's good. Big time buckets in his first half from Aaliyah Love. How about Love? We, we saw her taking players off the bounce. Here we see her hit from three. How about Love? How about, how about Love? It's I mean, a good it's thing a, it's Christmas time. It's a beautiful time. thing in life. <laughs> <laughs> Ducharme has it knocked out of bounds. Going to stay here with UConn. Talk about the pick and pop. Strumina rolls out. She's open that time for the shot. And then the next time down, they knew the help was going to come early and put a shooter down here in the corner. Nice reaction, nice adjustment. Georgia Tech hops right back in front. Coming off a win over number 20, Georgia. Shot clock at one. Nelson Adota gets it off. And a shot clock violation. More good D from Georgia Tech. I think you can't understand. You, the shot clock is big as day at the top of the clock. How do you not realize it's running down? A little floater won't drop in from Stroutmane. But I worked for Nell Fortner at Purdue. And talk about somebody that pays attention, not just putting in a defensive system, but the fundamentals of the defense. She takes care of the details. 
Saturday afternoon on ABC and the ESPN app. The fifth annual Never Forget Tribute Classic features this third-ranked UConn women's team taking on UCLA at 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Keep in mind, following that game, number 15 UConn men's team plays St. Bonaventure at 4 on ESPN2. Westbrook, nice crossover, and banks it in. Last four offensive possessions for Georgia Tech. They've involved Aliyah Edwards defensively in an on-ball screen. We'll see if Stratman does it again. Yes, there is something there that they like the look of. Watson in, good movement in the corner, love. Not that time. But again, creating a good look on that offensive possession for Georgia Tech. Tied at 20. Ross can't finish on the reverse side, no. Blocked by Stratmana, and it'll stay here with UConn. Here, a beautiful crossover. Birds heads to the bench. Edwards was such a force in the tournament last season. And that's going to be a travel. Ducharme, one extra step, and UConn turns it over for the sixth time. And Amari DeBerry getting her first action of the season. The freshman in for Connecticut. You know, Emma raved about her skill level to us earlier today at shoot-around. Off the steal, dump inside, and there you see the skill level of Amari DeBerry. How about the big girl? How about the freshman coming in in her first touch with the catch and the nice little floating finish? I knew you were going to get excited about that. Freshman post player, man, okay. <laughs> when Rebecca sees dexterity from a big, it's like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> Strout Mane doesn't get the roll. Georgia Tech, two for seven now from three-point range. Williams. Carving through the D and spinning it in. Ten points from Kristen Williams in his first half. Finding the seams, number 13, Kristen Williams. Lobs him in, hits the jumper. Rodemai locks him in with seven points. Ducharme, knocked out of bounds, going to stay here with you. Hands getting in the passing lanes by Vino Westbrook, and here the pass to the big, left-handed, nice touch. It's her first college buck. Nelson Adota. Dumps it, out of bounds. Seventh UConn turnover. Again, something Gino Oriyama talked to us about earlier today, feeling like his teams are turning it over more than what he's used to typically at UConn. Yeah, UConn teams aren't known for hurting themselves by turning the basketball over. It's not part of their DNA in the past, but it's been an issue this season. And Vino Westbrook said that Gino has really focused on slow down. you got to take time to set up a set up a screen, set up coming off that screen. Well, there's Sarah Bates, a welcome sight for Georgia Tech. She has struggled from three to begin this season. But Nell Fortner told us she just hasn't found her rhythm yet. When she does, she can be real dangerous from deep. Wow, how about the effort on the offensive from DeBerry? I mean, it's, this is a hard thing to do, right, Carolyn? I mean, Absolutely. she has not played a minute all season long. She gets an opportunity to go in. I'm sure she's been hearing an earful from Coach Orama every day in practice. And she is producing and saying, all right, Coach, give me some more minutes. Well, everybody loves Paige Beckers, and they have stepped up their game to play for her. So you know that's weighing on the heart of every player for UConn that has stepped on the floor. Aviance Carter into the game, lets it fly, too strong. And the rebound secured by DeVerry. Here comes Westbrook. Has not sat yet in this first half, may not sit all game. Nelson Adota got the step inside and took advantage. What I loved about Avina Westbrook set that whole thing up. You saw her directing traffic, getting Adota, Nelson, Nelson Adota the space on the block to be able to score. She has five of UConn's seven assists. 
Latinen using the screen. Gets it back to Kubai. Double, passes out. Eight to shoot. Latinen to the corner. Nice little separation and hit from Sarah Bates. Finding that rhythm from three. It started with a beautiful pass. That was a beautiful pass and then escape dribble to the side. Okay. But then the float to the corner, she just landed there right on time. Look, Sarah Bates, of her shots taken, what, 80, 81% of them are from the three-point line. And she's hit her last two. She has the last six Georgia Tech points. Slight difference game in shot clock. Williams on the attack. That's going to be an offensive pass. Sarah Bates will go into the half tied with number three, UConn. 28 on here tonight. What do you think about streaks, where these teams are at? It has been a very, very long time since UConn lost to an unranked opponent. 240 straight wins against an unranked opponent. And Georgia Tech's last home win against a top five opponent, 2009. Strong start here to the third for UConn. Always interesting for me to see what a coach draws up and has a team run out of a timeout or out of a half there. And as good as Connecticut was in the paint, they were looking for Kristen Williams on the perimeter. And 13 points now for Williams. A steal here for UConn. And a foul called against Love. That he has on this team. When you have Kristen Williams, you have Avina Westbrook to be disciplined. They have got to be even more disciplined in the execution and their scoring. Paige Beckers could create a lot of offense, right? But when you can execute and score baskets, good things can happen. Nelson Adota keeps the possession alive for UConn. Edwards on the cut. Can't finish it. She has had a tough time finishing today. 0 for 4 now from the floor. Troutmana follows it up after missing the three. Gets it back. Another chance here for Georgia Tech. Lily Love wasn't happy about not getting the ball in transition. Martinin will fire. And hit from three. Georgia Tech is going to need to continue to be able to hit those perimeter shots. Go to my Lottenen with 10 points. That corner three won't go. Edwards can't hold on to it. It's out of bounds and will stay here with UConn. A handoff with your big works the same as an off. Early action in this second half for Aviance Carter. As Love checks out, Westbrook can't hit. And Carter the box out. Center of the lane, Hermosa traveled, and Georgia Tech turns it over. Georgia Tech has not allowed more than 60 points in a game this season. Nelson Adota, aggressive, gets fouled by Hermosa, and will shoot two. Hey, tomorrow night over on XS. That, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking, well, it's time. But, I mean, yeah. why don't you? Lawton in. Over to Kubai. Kubai yet to score in this game. And a whistle underneath is going to go against UConn. There have not been many fouls in this contest. That's just the ball to the right spots. Lobbed into Hermosa. Kubai averaging nine and a half points per game. Mel Fortner just raves about Kubai's motor. Five to shoot in the corner. Kubai buries the jumper. That is fired up afterwards. They're going to count it as a long two for Lorella Kubai. This game has been very tightly played throughout. UConn navigating without Paige Beckers. 
Williams step back off the mark. Rebound caroms out of bounds right to Carolyn. I think you were looking down, though, in fairness. I was watching the monitor because I couldn't see because Gino was standing in front of me. <laughs> that ball came Come over Terrence. I, I need him to move down. <laughs> oh, Williams, great effort to save it. Bodies hit the floor. Kubai has it, looking to get rid of it. It's going to be a jump ball, and the possession arrow does belong to Georgia Tech. Yeah, you were talking about Kubai's motor. It's like, how do you get so many rebounds? And she said, I just want it. It's just in her DNA to use her energy to go get rebounds for her team. Tied for eighth in the nation, rebounding over 12 a game. Good kick here. Carter lines it up. Can't hit. Nelson Adota, the strong side, rebound. Tied at 33. Westbrook has it knocked away. Carter after it. Carter looking to peel back away from Westbrook. She anticipated it, nearly stole it. Lots it in. Kubai into Hermosa. Bank it in. And it was a great pass. It was a great pass by Kubai. And you have to respect her because she hit that long shot just a couple possessions ago. And then the beautiful feed inside of the bounce pass. Well, the perfect timing of Hermosa's duck in so that it was ready to deliver and finish in the paint. Georgia Tech's first point to the paint since the first quarter. Williams gets denied. Dramana on the block. In the corner, Carter this time doesn't take. Lots in. in. Tend to shoot. Hermosa battling with Nelson Adota. Sets the high screen. Lobbing it off the window. Looked like Lottenen was unsure whether to pass or shoot. It didn't really ever get to either. <laughs> Connecticut has missed its last six shots. Edwards. Over to Westbrook. Nelson Adota hits the jumper. Ten points for Olivia Nelson Adota. Well, normally, UConn is littered with double-figure scores. This year, just two players averaging ten or more points. When so, was the last time that happened, Ryan? Yeah, 1987-88. That's the last time UConn had just two players averaging in double figures. As Dietna Strabmane with an outstanding move. What footwork. Beautiful up and under. This big lineup for Georgia Tech has worked best. With Strabmane at the three, you've got Hermosa and Kubai that can handle things, guard the post. Nelson Adoni will take again and hit again. On the long two. Connecticut will be a different team if, if Olivia and Nelson Adota can consistently hit that shot. Because then it's going to create space inside for their other bigs because the defenders will come out. She hasn't been able to do that consistently through her career. So our parents in the crowd celebrating. Hermosa gets swallowed up by the Georgia native. And two really nice crowd here at Georgia Tech. Last time UConn was here, Georgia Tech set a record for attendance. Sarah Bates into the game for the Yellow Jackets. Had two big threes at the end of the first half. Shot clock fading here. Hermosa couldn't get it on the rim. Entire time. Well, the last two games for Georgia Tech has been tight. They lost at the buzzer to Purdue, and then they were able to pull off the upset against Georgia. Strapmane comes up with the rebound after Williams misses the three. And Kubai didn't get the board on that possession, but man, what a box out. Now, UConn has nine offensive rebounds in this game, but just two second-chance points. Hotson in. A little too strong on her three-point attempt, and a foul going to stay. Just the fourth foul of the game against UConn. Hermosa turns, and a foul. A little bit smaller with this line. You still have 
Juhas in with Aaliyah Edwards. So that matches the size. But yeah, Stromina now matched up question, with Athena Westbrook. Question becomes for Connecticut, who's going to rebound? Because Olivia Nelson Dota has it really good on the board. Wow, Ducharme was just left alone. Both Georgia Tech defenders vacated. And the freshman, number five ranked player in this recruiting class, able to finish. Both of these teams have the luxury of having big players at the post up, and that's what you saw from Ducharme. We've seen it from Stroutman throughout the game as well. Love back in for Georgia Tech. In the corner of three, a little too strong. Kubai, good effort on the glass, couldn't quite handle it. On the run, Edwards missed again. Aaliyah Edwards is missing attempts that last year were as good as cash. She's in her own head right now. You saw after she missed that shot, she gave a little glance over here to Gino because she knows he wants her. Capable. We saw her shoot over 70% last year in the right. NCAA tournament. She was incredible in the tournament. Averaged 13.7 and a half rebounds on 73% shooting. But she is 0 for 5 tonight on a lot of easy looks. Turnover here. Matanin veering away from traffic. All the way in. Gets whacked and fouled. And two free throws coming for La I say street hockey. I don't mean on tennis shoes. In tennis shoes. She was on ice skates back in Finland. And that, her dad coaches hockey. She's got a toughness about her. Look at Carolyn breaking out the street hockey story. There you go. I got it. I love it. Williams. Too strong on the three. How do you drive on those streets? <laughs> hey, Rebecca? <laughs> I don't. I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> Dubai directing traffic. Throutmane. Over to Hermosa. Doesn't get the roll. Rebound Ducharme. I asked who was going to rebound without Nelson Adota in the game. It's been Ducharme so far. Edwards out of the double. Jumper won't go for UConn. And a foul underneath is going to be against Edwards after Uaz couldn't hit the jumper. I mean, the inside game has been fun to watch. It has been physical. Those two are battling. That's basically what you have to do to try to keep Kubai off the glass. <laughs> Just throw her down. Well, I'm finding the secret of how Kubai gets so many rebounds. She anticipates the shot. She starts jockeying for position even before the ball is released. And look at her frame. I mean, this is a big, strong woman. 6'4", with a lot of muscle, as Kubai misses the free throw. Now, this is a problem for Georgia Tech with UConn in the bonus here. Georgia Tech finally getting to the line. These five free throws have all come in the latter minutes of the third. Kubai misses both. And Georgia Tech now two for six from the line. They had trouble from the line down the stretch against Georgia, down the stretch against Purdue. They're one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the nation. Cost them a game against Purdue. And if they don't win tonight, they're going to think about some of the missed free throws here in the third. Georgia Tech can hold for a final shot here at the end of the third. This game was tied at 28 at the half. Both teams shooting 36% from the floor, tied at 39 here. Hermosa has it just taken away by DeBerry. Williams in transition. Williams gets it off, and Dubai with the denial at the horn to send this game to the fourth. Confidence builder for her. She said she had so much respect for Gino. He had already accomplished a lot at UConn, and he came in and watched practice and said, Oh, you got this. You know what you're doing. And that really boosted her spirits. It was a confirmation to Nell that she was doing the right thing. And when you have somebody like Gino Ariema give his blessing, give the check mark, you're doing this right, yeah, you go, Okay, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. George Tech needs to keep doing what they're doing on the defensive end of the floor. I mean, look at this score 39 39 against a Connecticut team that can be potent offensively. Here they start 
this quarter with a stop. I mean, just great effort by Georgia Tech all game long. I mean, they've held Connecticut to 35% shooting from the floor. This is a team that shoots 50% as a team normally. Second in the country. As Hermosa gets free, more high-low action with Kubai finding her. Miscommunication defensively by Connecticut and, and Georgia Tech making them pay. A two-point Georgia Tech lead and now a steal. 12th turnover for UConn, navigating without Paige Beckers. Out six to eight weeks with a tibial fracture. No AZ FUD as well, the top recruit in the nation, dealing with a foot injury, should be back relatively soon. Mika Mule also out. A long three, airmailed, and the rebound to the freshman, DeBerry. Nelson Adota getting ready to check back in for UConn, had gone to the bench with three fouls. Omari DeBerry faces up. A little too strong. Rebound lands in the lap of Strautmanek. Now, this is where you miss Paige Beckers. She takes a shot. She makes a shot down the stretch. And Gino Ariema wanted Kristen Williams to shoot the ball. She's given the ball up too much. Hermosa doesn't get the roll. Williams has it in her hands now after the rebound. Westbrook slides in, takes, no. And another rebound for Kubai, her eighth. Four assists for Kubai in this game as well. Crowd buzzing. They can sense a real opportunity here for Georgia Tech. Double comes. Player was open. It was love. Instead, Kubai finds her motion for two. Beautiful. Beautiful. Kubai is one of the better post passers I've seen in the women's college game this season. Her decision making, she reads the deep. At stake, UConn 240 straight wins against unranked opponents. Georgia Tech's last home win against the top five opponent back in 2009. UConn without Paige Beckers, without Nico Mule, without Aubrey Griffin, without AZ Fudd, trying to navigate without so many key pieces. And Georgia Tech has not allowed them to thus far. Connecticut going now with a small lineup. Mir McLean in the game right there with the spin move. It's a player who's played a total of six minutes this season. And got gobbled up by guess who? Kubai. Connecticut's missed its last eight shots. So Mir McLean is guarding Kubai. You need to take her down on the block. Yeah, they recognize that right here. Trying to right now. Love didn't get it into her. Will Hermosa? She will. Touch pass to the corner. Good movement here. Step back three. No for Bates. Kubai trying to save it. She does. Ottoman has it stripped. What defense from Williams able to claw it away and keep it inbound. Here is Westbrook spinning and getting the whistle, taking advantage of Sarah Bates. She was surrounded by itty bitties. <laughs> That's true. That's how you guys feel at lunch with me. That's true. 43-40 <laughs> Georgia Tech leading UConn. Six minutes and 15 seconds to go on the fourth. Bates had a little space there, didn't pull. Get a couple big threes in the first half. Goodbye. Gets it back from Bates. Shot clock at five. Dubai will fire and hit. Doing it with a jumper now. Lorella Kubai trying to take the Yellow Jackets to the finish line. And it's going the other way. A charge on Westbrook. This is the pass zone. But okay, Lorella Kubai with a little step back and able to get the dagger to go. And then Sarah Bates gets down on the other end, cuts off of Vena Westbrook. That helps the momentum build for Georgia Tech. A five-point Georgia Tech lead. And strumming it back in the game. They ha Georgia Tech has this size advantage. Shot clock under 10. 
Travmane dumps it in. Kubai, another fading shot clock. That time, no. Travmane follows it up and banks it in. It's a seven point game. Largest lead for either team. Nelson Adota back to work off the double. No. Kubai keeps it in. Latinen going to back it out. Wait for help. Georgia Tech in control in this fourth quarter. Hermosa. Short. Westbrook the rebound. What does UConn have left in the tank with under five minutes to go? They've got Nelson Adota on the floor. They need to go back to playing through her in the paint. Here she is, into the paint, lost the hand. Matchup against South Carolina. Well, the defense, when Connecticut played South Carolina, that really wore UConn down in the first three quarters. Right now, the defense for Georgia Tech has really paid off, but also offensively, the confidence the Yellow Jackets are playing with. Start to find a much better rhythm on this end. Here's Love kicking it out. Dubai bounces Hermosa, hits again. That combination has been funny. Whether it's high-low or low-high, the post-to-post -post passing has been outstanding. And Nell Fortner very pressing and told us before the game she thought the finesse of Hermosa could be really big in this matchup. She has 13 points. And a turnover from UConn. 15 turnovers for the Huskies, who no. have won 240 consecutive games against unranked opponents. That is in serious jeopardy here. Well, Nell Fortner, one of the best late game coaches. She has her team prepared how to take care of the ball. Long rebound, flag down. Guess who? Kubai, her 12th board. She has five assists and another chance here for Georgia Tech on an 11-1 run. And a turnover here. Ducharme weaving up the floor. UConn with plenty of time still. Ducharme guarded closely by Love. Kicks to the opposite corner. Westbrook can hit. Rebound. Guess who again? Kubai. Connecticut has missed its last seven threes. And a timeout, like a foul given here by go to v.org. Uh, this strategy, I think, makes sense from UConn. Give yourself more possessions, get Georgia Tech to the line. They're a really poor free throw shooting team. And right now, guys, Georgia Tech's having success on the offensive end. Yeah, and when they miss, they've been able to get the offensive rebounds as well. Well, Connecticut has got to foul because Georgia Tech is using the full shot clock. They're using time. We talked about Georgia Tech's free throw shooting woes earlier. They also really struggled for six. You see, against Purdue, it cost them. Against Georgia, they escaped. And another foul is going to come at some point here. There it is. Nine offensive rebounds tonight from Georgia Tech. Love hits the second. It's a 10-point lead. UConn now busts into their offense. UConn without a field goal in the fourth quarter. They have five turnovers, and Westbrook has it knocked out of bounds. This defense from Georgia Tech just went see back on January 22nd of that year. A 10-point lead, still time for UConn. Williams will fire and miss. Eight straight missed threes from the Huskies. They've missed their last 11 shots overall. And now the Huskies told us since that South Carolina game, he felt like his defense was better. You know, Paige Beckers had really found her spots to score as well. So they had improved since that South Carolina game. 11-point lead, Ducharme. Uh -huh. Rebound, Nelson Adota, tie up, possession arrow. Ball. Able to do that here in the second half. Been away from paint points. 16-0 run. 
in paint point. That happened in the second quarter, and it has gone the other way since. Another turnover for UConn, their 16. Well, they need to deny Lawton to catch the ball coming in. And instead, just got there for the foul. Look what Gino Arama told us earlier today. He said, we've got to find different ways to win. It's got to be with defense and rebounding. Well, first pick only has 51 points. So the defense hasn't been terrible. The, the rebounding hasn't been terrible. It, it's been the offense that has just really struggled. Well, they have, Connecticut has had to adjust to, you know, snap your finger and, okay, I got it. And Georgia Tech, a very good defensive team, entered this game sixth in the nation in defensive efficiency. Lockton hits both free throws. Another miss from three for UConn. Out of the Huskies, a 15-1 run. It's really been more like a brisk walk over 10 plus minutes. But in the fourth quarter, Georgia Tech has outscored UConn 14 to one. Williams, no. Rebound Hermosa. Georgia Tech, another stop on the defensive end in this fourth quarter. It's unbelievable. Second free throw missed. Edwards secures it. Here comes Westbrook. It's just taken too much time running an offense off screens. Need to just run a drag screen or a stagger and look for opportunities. There is the first field goal of right after the third. UConn has not scored under 45 points since February of 2006. Breaking free is love for an easy two. Off the inbound. Beautiful play. Beautifully, beautifully designed play by Nell Court. Well, and it was a great prediction of Nell understanding the full court pressure was going to be up there and sending somebody long. Westbrook hits the jumper. Avina Westbrook back-to-back -back field goals. A 12-point Georgia Tech lead. With a little under a minute to go, they're going to put the shot clock, or the game clock rather, down to 58 seconds. So UConn will try and steal again and then foul immediately. Going for the tie-up and the steal. Did not get it. Here comes Kubai, darting into the front court, into the corner, gets pushed and fouled. She'll shoot two. What a heads-up play by Kubai. She just, just kept going. Carry into the game for UConn. And also, let's be clear, this is a game that the Huskies are going to learn a lot from and eventually get some very key reinforcements. Williams, no. Out of bounds to Georgia Tech. 39.5 seconds to go. What incredible poise. We've seen all game long from Georgia Tech. Connecticut made runs. They kept it close when hustle plays needed to be made. The players from Georgia Tech made them. What a performance today. Crowd rising to its feet. The upset is imminent. Slight difference, game and shot clock. That three just gets on the rim, tilts out of bounds, 6.7 to go. Georgia Tech, a 13 point lead. UConn will inbound. And that will do it. Georgia Tech. Ends a streak of 240 straight wins for UConn against unreal.